Features of a quality screening program ensure that the approach to vision screening is appropriate for the age and abilities of the child. In this brief video, we will review the use of the preschool assessment of stereopsis with a smile, PASS 2. Stereopsis testing is conducted to determine if the eyes are working together. When the brain is able to blend the separate images from each eye into one image, the child can perceive three-dimensional space and is said to have stereopsis, or binocular vision. In the child whose eyes are not working together, the brain is unable to blend the separate images from each eye. The PASS2 test is used because it performs better than other commercially available tests of stereoacuity based on scientific literature. It is a depth perception test designed for assessment of stereopsis in children and non-readers to check how well a child's two eyes work together. The test includes four cards. Note the back of each card is labeled, the blank card, the demo card, also marked as card A, card B, and card C. One pair of small pediatric polarized viewers, one pair of medium pediatric polarized viewers, one carrying case, one measuring cord. Care of cards and polarized viewers. Clean cards with a soft, damp, lint-free cloth. Dampen cloth using only glass cleaner or mild detergent or water. Do not immerse in water or spray with a cleaner. Store cards and polarized viewers in the provided carrying case in a dry place away from direct sunlight. Clean polarized viewers using lens cleaner and soft, lint-free cloth. Conduct the PASS2 test in the same area that you set up for tests of recognition visual acuity. The room should be a well-lit, glare-free area to ensure that no reflections or extraneous glare can be seen on the cards. Arrange the seat for the child so that the cards can be held comfortably 16 inches from their eyes. Check the distance with the measuring cord provided with the test. Set all sizes of the pediatric polarized viewers, cards A through C, the blank card, and alcohol prep pad on a table near the seat for the child. Set the wastebasket near the table. Note, you will use the blank card, the demo card, which is card A, and card B for three and four year old children. For children age five and older, you will also use card C. Step one, select the appropriate size pediatric polarized viewers and place them on the child. Explain to the child that the glasses will help them see hidden objects. If the child is not comfortable wearing the polarized viewers, let the child watch as you conduct the test on another child to observe other children willing to participate. If the child wears prescription glasses, place the polarized viewer over their glasses. Tell the child that they will be playing a game that involves wearing magical glasses. Do not ask the child if they want to play this game as they may answer no. Present the demo card, card A, to the child and ask the child to point to or identify the smile face. Card A has a two-dimension smile face and is used for training purposes. Next, present card B and the blank card side by side in front of the child at eye height and at a 10 degree angle. Tilt the back towards the examiner. Ask the child to point to the card with the smile face. Shuffle card B and the blank card behind your back so as to randomly change the position of card B. Ask the child to identify the card with the smile face. Shuffle the cards behind your back each time to avoid creating a pattern presentation. Present the cards a maximum of five times and note if the child's responses are correct or incorrect. A three or four year old child is successful if they are able to identify card B four out of four or four out of five times. If the child is successful on card B and is aged three or four years old, then you may end the test and record the result as passed for three year old and four year old children. Note, if the child is five years old and successful on two presentations of card B, proceed to step three. If a three, four, or five-year-old child is unsuccessful on card B, stop testing and record the child's results. This indicates that a referral for an eye examination is needed. Step three. If the child is five years old and successful on two presentations of card B, replace card B with card C and repeat the same presentation procedure again, now with card C and the blank card. Present the cards a maximum of five times and note if the child's responses are correct or incorrect. A five-year-old child is successful if they correctly identify two presentations of card B and four out of four or four out of five times of card C. If the five-year-old child is unsuccessful on card C, stop testing and record the child's results. This indicates that a referral for an eye examination is needed. Rescreenings are at the discretion of the screener and should happen at least one day following the non-pass vision screening, but in no case later than four to six weeks. If a rescreening is not feasible, a referral should be made. 